माय नेम इज सुनील मिश्र एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट क्लास नाइन्थ चैप्टर नाइन फोर्स एंड लॉज ऑफ मोशन इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट फोर्स एंड इट्स यूनिट्स न्यूटन्स लॉज ऑफ मोशन एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट इनर्शिया टाइप्स ऑफ इनर्शिया मोमेंटम एंड कंजर्वेशन ऑफ मोमेंटम ओके सो फर्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट इनर्शिया वट इज इनर्शिया इनर्शिया इज द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ ए बॉडी विच अपोजेस एनी चेंज इन द स्टेट ऑफ रेस्ट और मोशन और यूनिफॉर्म मोशन ओके सो वी कैन राइट इट इज द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ ए बॉडी which opposes any change in its state of rest or motion or in uniform motion we can write here or uniform motion so inertia is the property of a body which opposes any change in the state of rest if a body is in rest then it will continue in the state of rest which is the first law of न्यूटन्स ओके न्यूटन्स फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ मोशन और इफ ए बॉडी इज इन मोशन इट विल कंटिन्यू इन द स्टेट ऑफ मोशन एंड इनर्शिया इज द प्रॉपर्टी विच अपोजेस दैट चेंज ओके एंड इनर्शिया ऑल्सो डिपेंड ऑन द मास ऑफ द बॉडी ओके इनर्शिया depends upon the mass of the body if a body has greater mass that means inertia is greater okay so what are the types of inertia inertia is of two types it is of two types first one is inertia at rest or inertia of rest and second one is inertia of motion ओके इनर्शिया इज ऑफ टू टाइप्स फर्स्ट वन इज इनर्शिया ऑफ रेस्ट एंड सेकेंड वन इज इनर्शिया ऑफ मोशन सो नाउ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द फर्स्ट टाइप ऑफ इनर्शिया इनर्शिया ऑफ रेस्ट सो वट इज इनर्शिया ऑफ रेस्ट इट इज द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ ए बॉडी फॉर विच इट कांट चेंज द स्टेट ऑफ रेस्ट विदाउट द हेल्प ऑफ एनी एक्सटर्नल फोर्स so it is the property of a body for which it is unable to change its state of rest without 
any without any external force okay so if a body is in rest it will continue in the state of rest until or unless we apply some external force on the body so it is inertia of rest for example you have seen dust particles okay if i will give a sudden jerk to a blanket what happens the dust particle was in rest inside the blanket okay if i will give a sudden jerk to the blanket then the dust particle remains at rest but the blanket changes the position okay that is inertia of rest in that case the dust particle is in rest or we can say another example we are sitting inside a bus if a passenger is sitting inside a bus if the bus starts the motion suddenly starts to move suddenly what happens the passenger gets a backside jerk okay why that happens that is because of inertia of rest if bus will start to move suddenly so the lower part of the body or the passenger will continue to move but the upper part is in rest that's why inertia of rest is there now we'll discuss about the second type of inertia that is inertia of motion what is inertia of motion if a body is in motion it will continue in motion that was in first law so it is the property of a body for which it is unable to stop that motion without any external force okay so it is the property of a body for which it is unable to change its state of motion without the help of an external force so inertia of motion is the property of a body for which it is unable to change its state of motion in previous inertia of rest the body was unable to change its state of rest but here the body is unable to change its state of motion without the help of any external force let us give an example if an athlete is participating in a long jump he has to run a far distance why he is running from a far distance and coming after that he takes the long jump because inertia of motion helps to the athlete for a long jump so next we are going to discuss about momentum what is momentum momentum is the property of a body which contains some motion inside the body so momentum can be defined as the amount of the amount of motion contained in a body everybody contains some motion and 
the amount of motion is called momentum and momentum is a vector quantity okay momentum is a vector quantity it has some magnitude as well as some direction okay and the momentum depends upon two factors what are the factors mass and velocity of the body so momentum depends upon two factors okay momentum depends upon two factors the first one is mass and the second one is velocity of the body okay momentum depends upon mass of the body as well as velocity of the body and we can write if momentum equal to p vector because momentum is a vector quantity so momentum equal to p vector and if mass of the body is equal to m and velocity of the body will be v vector because velocity is also a vector quantity then we will represent momentum as p vector is equal to mass into velocity vector this is the formula for momentum if momentum will be p vector is equal to mass into velocity vector then what will be its units in cgs system what will be its cgs system of units mass in cgs system is gram and velocity is centimeter per second so gram centimeter per second is the unit of momentum in cgs system or in si system what will be the unit of momentum the unit of mass in si system is kg and si unit of velocity is meter per second so kg meter per second will be the si unit of momentum so now we will discuss about conservation of momentum the last point so conservation of momentum states that if two bodies acting upon one another then the total momentum will be zero provided no external force is acting on them okay so we can write conservation of momentum as it states that if two bodies acting on each other then the total momentum will be constant or equal okay if two bodies acting upon each other then the total momentum will be constant provided what 
नो एक्सटर्नल फोर्स provided that no external force acting on the body this is the condition what provided no external force acting on the body if some external force is acting on the body then that will not be conservation of momentum conservation of momentum says that if two bodies acting upon each other if the two body are colliding let us say then the total momentum will be constant okay and the second point of this conservation of momentum is momentum cannot be created or cannot be destroyed so we can't create momentum or we can't destroy momentum so there is a formula of conservation of momentum that let m1 equal to mass of first body and m2 equal to mass of second body if the two bodies are colliding means if this is the first body and this is the second body if the two bodies are colliding okay there are some if the bodies are colliding means they are with some velocities okay so let us say u1 is initial velocity of body 1 okay and u2 is initial velocity of body 2 and if they are colliding then there will be some final velocity so what will be the final velocities v1 let us say v1 equal to final velocity of body 1 and v2 equal to final velocity of body 2 so we can establish a relation that m1 u1 plus m2 u2 is equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 this is the formula for conservation of momentum means mass of the object and initial velocity of the first object plus mass of the second object and initial velocity of the second object must be equal to mass of first object into initial velocity is a final velocity plus mass of second object and final velocity of second object thank you